Okay, welcome everybody to another Friday Footfalls. Apologies for the hiatus last weekend, but um, oh, sorry, last week, but I had a Pioneer RCQ to focus on. But back this week with Elemental Rhinos, which got the most votes in the poll as to what flavour of rhinos we should play this week. So, um, not many changes from the last time we ran this through. Um, I think an extra favour instead of, um, I've tri gone down to three, three copies of Omnath. Um, but yeah, I think everything else is the same. We got the place up to fairy in the 75 and force and subtlety. Um, so, so yeah, let's get into it. Um, hope everyone's doing well and big thanks to everyone that subscribed recently. At the time of recording this, I think I'm on 799 subscribers. So, um, can almost taste the, the 800th. So if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Really does mean a lot um, and, and great to have everyone that subscribed along for the ride. But um, yeah, let's get into some modern. So get to be on the play, which is good. Right, interesting hand here. I um, think we can keep suspend riders on one, hopefully find our next land, but we can force and dismember and all kinds of good stuff while um, we're waiting for the rhinos on suspend. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep just about. Okay, so let's uh, put one on suspend. Pass the turn. Oh, we are against the Gigantha deck, so this is probably Zoo. Zoo, the most common Gigantha list at the moment, I think. Uh, not with Basic Mountain, though. Oh, it could be Prowess. Okay, so Prowess. So, dismember not the best here, but. Okay, another footfalls isn't ideal. Uh, do we just want to dismember this next turn? Yeah, I think I'm just going to dismember. Like, it's not obviously not the best way to kill the monastery swift spear. Okay, dragon's rage channeler. So we'd love a land here in order to just bounce this with Teferi has to be a white land I guess. Right, white land. Uh, that's gross. Okay, we'll, sus we'll suspend another one. I guess subtlety is probably pretty good against the new slick shot thing. Like they cast it from a uh, plot or whatever it is and you just subtlety it back on top. Okay, so opponent that surveils. Really could have done with a land there. They put one on top. Probably subtletying any sort of creature here. Okay, land. Just attacking for one. It's fine. So it's good, they could have had put like a questing druid on top. Right, let's see a land. E -e, we do find a land. Okay, so let's just go. Uh, if I go and get basic planes, <coughs> stops us hard casting. So I could get Hallowed Fountain. Yeah, I think that's, I think the extra two damage is worth it to be able to cast our spells here. Yep, seek the beast. So they find slick shot, slick shot. Okay. So it's going to bounce the dragon's rage channeler here. People haven't seen these. This is the new card from the new set that's uh, been making waves in prowess. Flying haste, um, essentially mega, well not mega prowess, but it's plus two plus zero when you cast a non-creature spell, and you can plot it. So you can pay one and a red, and then exile it from your hand, and then cast it as a sorcery later on. 
So the idea is you plot it on turn two and then turn three, cast it for free, cast three one mana spells or whatever, because you've got all your mana available. Uh, okay, opponent Apostle's Blessings on the Dragon's Rage Channeler. That's fine. So, I think we now just plus. If I want to attack Teferi, that's fine. I'll probably subtlety some. Well, I don't know. Um, that's got flying and haste. I think actually I'm going to let that go because subtlety, if we hard cast it, could potentially block that. So they could cast another one here. Oh, love it! That's pretty good. I might force that one. Okay, so if they do that again, it's also an in. Uh, they do have instant already. I'm just gonna force that. Uh, pitch to fairy. Maybe forcing that was wrong, but now they can't flash it back. Okay, they heat the Teferi for two. Still no delirium. They can't cast another slick shot. Okay. We do get to make rhinos though. Omnath would have been nice. So let's bounce. So this is a one. They'd need to spend two spells. We can subtlety it though. I'm going to bounce the Dragon's Rage Channeler. Okay, we do find a land. I think f with that draw. I'm just going to try and block the show off. Just make sure if I fetch basic island here, or yeah, basic island, island, blue, green, red, white would cast Omnath. Okay, another Seek the Beast is very, very good. They put one on top. Exile. Oh, is that a lava dart? Oh, and they have the bolt. So now I can't fetch. Can that be played? Or do you have to choose? Oh, you have to choose one. Okay, so we go to two. Oh, and they have. Okay, so yeah, we can't fetch. Oh, that was pretty. Pretty gross. Maybe. Maybe we're meant to. S <coughs> hmm. Oh, I guess having drawn the subtlety, we probably should have bounced. Oh, yeah, definitely should have bounced the slick shot. Would it have mattered? Probably not. Okay, so what do we want here? Um, dismember can go force is interesting. Fable is probably too slow. Um, subtlety, yes. Maybe we do want this member. Yeah, against the slick shot I think that's fine. And maybe, oh endurance seems good against the Dragon's Rage Channeler. Do you want to change anything? Let's get rid of a force for another endurance. And go with that. Right, yep, like to play first. And yeah, we'll 
we'll keep this. Do we want to fetch shock to play this footfalls on one? Probably not. Just go uh, tap land, tap land. We need forest. So we could just go fetch shock, do that. I don't think I want to do that. We do have a surveil land though. Yeah, I think that's better actually. So we can go um, Lush Portico here. And then suspend on two. So we've actually got something to do on turn two. Okay, surveil. Uh, windswept heath. Yeah, actually, I'm going to keep that because we want to build up to this omnath. Suspend. That pass. So this turn, I think we'll just go Sacred Foundry Shardless Agent. Okay, they just play that. Okay, Bauble giving that plus two, plus zero is pretty. Yep, double Bauble is pretty good. I think they haven't got like mutagenic growth as well. So if you get a 14, draw another footfalls, which is not ideal. Um, let's just shock this in. Play Shard this Agent. Like we could just die next turn quite easily. If they just go burn spell, burn spell, attack us in the air with this. But we'll see. Okay, land. We also don't really want to see Blood Moon. Seek the Beast is good. They hit Lava Dart Underworld Breach. Those are two pretty good cards. Okay, we go to eleven, we go to six. We're probably at the point. Uh, is this just lethal? We go to three? We're at the point where we need to draw removal for this now. Why don't we draw another land? Um, so they, they could go breach and we just die, right? I guess we could go Omnath. Let's go Island, Mountain. No, island, plains, forest, mountain. Uh, forest, mountain, plains. Oh, we could find solitude. No. Uh, so they just do that and win the game. Okay, well, that's pretty rough. That deck seems pretty impressive. Um, that two mana haste creature is just pretty insane, especially with Mistress Bauble. But there we go. Let's uh, yeah try and recover in round number two. Round number two. Uh, let's play first. Um, this is okay. It's more like a um, 
well just an elemental control and this okay so yeah we'll leave with flooded strand I'm gonna try and surveil into what do we go and just get Grixis triome to have this binding up no I think I want to go and get we could get steam vents but I think uh, yeah I think I want to get the surveil land try and try and find our third land okay opponent preordains off a watery grave some sort of blue black mid rangey type deck probably So yeah, definitely want blue mana. It goes one top, one bottom. Okay, so yeah, we'll go grab. Uh, yeah, we'll just get the archive here. Um, don't want that one for now. Definitely looks like we're on blue black uh <laughs> blue white control at the moment. Okay, that's a good draw. So let's play this and then we'll ice the watery grave. And then probably try and slam to fairy. Or a cascader. Oh, we draw Shard of the Satan. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, so now the question is it kind of depends what the opponent does. Okay, so they play Surveil Land. What would we rather? I think I'm just going to go Shard of the Satan and get the clock going. Just make it so that they have to deal with so much stuff at once. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's just go. So we need to get red. Uh, if we get red, is it red green or red white? We've got double white, but actually we don't need much red. Let's get a. Yeah, let's get a secret foundry. Sharp season and a crashing for falls. Make ten power, and then there's probably nothing we want to solitude here, but never know. What did we reveal? We did reveal an Omna. So got some late game power but just wanting to put them under a lot of pressure early I can also play this ardent plea next turn potentially depends though because if we think they're likely to have something like damnation some sort of sweeper don't really want to get two lots of rhinos caught up in that Okay, they push a rhino, that's fine. Implies that they don't have a sweeper. Could imply they have counter spell here. What am I drawing a land? Okay, going at thought seizes. Don't know what they take here. Probably to fairy, or well, it could be ardent plea. Pretty 
pretty much whatever one they take will play the other one. Okay, they take Teferi. <laughs> uh, we instantly draw Teferi, so that implies their hand is a lot worse against Teferi. Uh, so let's attack with everything. Would we rather just put more damage onto the field? They obviously feel like they can deal with ardent play as a problem, and I do kind of want to draw a land. I think I'm gonna. Mm. Oh, and they could just have removal. Well, no, because fatal push, fatal push. Why would they take Teferi there? Let's say I have removal. I'm going to play the Ardent Plea. I think just putting lethal onto the field is probably best. I, I think getting too caught up in Teferi's. Okay, I, mean, I, don't know. I mean, it could be Spell Pierce, but they can Spell Pierce either one. Okay. See, I'm not sure what the opponent has. But they have to they have to kill two rhinos here. They could have push push. The only thing I can think of that would explain them taking to fairy is if they have some sort of sweeper. But that wouldn't explain why they use the fatal push before that. Hmm, not sure. Right, not a wara from the opponent. Could be damnation. Okay, they have Mer oh Merc Tide kind of makes sense. But we have a couple of things that can get rid of that. Okay. So yeah. Um so I mean we can just attack, but I think I would go binding the Smirk Tide. Let's see where that left us. Okay, so blue black could be shadow, could just be blue black Merc Tide. Um, don't want forces against them. We do want this mystical dispute. Endurance is probably good, and so is to fairy. Uh, dismember isn't great. Subtlety is pretty good. I like all of this. Uh, let's trim a fire, or maybe two. Uh, Fable's good. Um, binding good. What else do we got? I mean, is it crazy to just cut these two? Let's try that. Right, what do we think of this? I think this is probably a mulligan. We can spend on one, but can't we do too much else? Uh, yeah, we'll look at that one. This is a lot better. Um, I don't think I want to get rid of a land. I think it's probably binding. Well, it's one of these. It's not agent. I think it's just binding. try and just was do I go and get the Grixis Triome or do we try and surveil into a white land they could thought seize obviously okay they do thought seize so our plans whatever would be scuppered
Okay, draw. Well, oh, Footfalls isn't a bad draw. See what they want to do. They've got five cards in hand. They took the agent, so I'm fine. They can deal with this to fairy somehow. They might just have another thought seize. Good to get the rhinos on suspend over a uh, you know, out of the way of a a thought seize. Okay, they go one top, one bottom. Delta pass. Okay. They shock in. Could be another thought sees. Yeah, they're at ten life though. <laughs> they might take dispute here. Uh, they might be going for Merc Tide. They could also have Shadow in hand. Okay, we find Ardent Plea. It's an interesting one. Um, <coughs> probably try and surveil into another land now. Uh, probably just go and get Meticulous Archive. I could go and get Hallowed Fountain and dispute something if we need to. If they go for a Merc Tide, we can do that. Wouldn't do that for just a preordain or something, probably. Well, they're doing something here. I'd be surprised if it was Merc Tide, given that we can just dispute. But they know we have the dispute. So yeah, we'll just, just go ahead and mystical dispute. Okay, it's quite it's quite big one. Yeah, and then. I don't know. This could be bait for something else, but I can't really see it. My opponent misses a land drop. Maybe they just had nothing else. Maybe the hands filled with Merc Tides and stuff. Um, if we can rip a untapped uh, blue or white source here, or specifically asked for untapped, but we'll, we'll take that. It's not too bad. Uh, let's go ahead and graveyard that one. Unlikely we want to proceed to anything here. That would have been the ideal time to make a load more rhinos. If they don't do anything here, I might even wait to play the Ardent Plea. Until next turn when we could... Um, play two at once. Got four cards in hand. Okay, Fable's not too bad. I think I'm just gonna jam. I don't think I wanna wait around forever. If we rip a red land next turn, we can play Fable. Like they haven't got a counter spell up. Go drown in the lock. They drown in the lock our ardent plea. Uh, sorry, opponent. This is a <laughs> that's only a mistake you make once usually. 
unless they have something like engineered explosives but yeah everyone does that once counters the uh, gets too excited and counters the, the cascade spell I mean, the opponent may have other plans. They may have. Uh, they may just not have wanted us to have the um, ardent plea, and wanted to play engine explosives and clear up both sets of rhinos. But unlikely, I would say. Is it ten? Okay, it looks like they're just passing. We got four cards in hand. I don't know what they are. One could be thought seize, I suppose. Gonna cast some more rhinos here. Could be tie binder. Okay. So I think this again. I think this may be the. Yeah. So. <laughs> This is a uh, turn to uh, this is the wrong trigger to do. So what this one will do is it will stop me removing a counter. Um, it's the trigger afterwards that you want to um, stop, which is the one that says you can cast it without paying its mana cost. Sacred Foundry, a very good draw there. this fable no blocks from the opponent I think I am gonna slam it though opponent doesn't block they may have another one Doesn't save them. Uh, engineered explosives is very good here. Gives them another turn. Well, gives them like essentially a lot of turns. Might play clear up all of our rhinos. Although actually, if they play EE with the hope of getting these ones, I can yeah besiege you it in response. Uh, sorry, I it before the rhinos come off. Right, opponent fatal pushes a rhino. Plays it there, so it is death shadow. They are at two. I think we're just attacking with everything here. Uh, well, that's a good draw. Mm. Oh, we've got a fable trigger. I might. Well, we I kind of want to get rid of the Besaidu, but it also lets us cast it. But we do have the Goblin as well. I think I'm going to go for it. Okay, find Temple Garden, uh, which I will shock in just in case. Right, so it's a weird one. This, so if I solitude this, they go up to five, they gain three. This shrinks. I think I'm just solituding the shadow, even though it gains them a load of life. Um, I could have stern scolding here. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm really worried about the shadow. Like, yeah. 
okay. But if the opponent hadn't, if they'd counter our rhinos, it uh, would have been a bit more of a game there. But um, yeah, we'll uh, take the win and see you for round number three. Right, uh, no land, so we have to mulligan this one. And this is much, much better. We'll keep, I think we're just going to bottom the binding. Uh, this goes and gets, yeah, bottom binding here. So we'll go and get um, some sort of green land, probably. Oh, we can't get green. So we can get green, white. I think it's green, white. Yeah, so we'll get Temple Garden, Suspender Rhinos, pass the turn. Just going to try and enact the, the classic Rhinos game plan here of um, Ice into Shardless Agent. Prop. Mm. Okay, so I'm actually going to Ice the Mountain because we're very afraid. Ooh, dismember's not bad. But we want to draw a land and I'm afraid of Roiling Vortex. I don't think they run it very much anymore. I don't know, is that worth it? I'm actually going to take the risk. I don't think they run it anymore. It's not that common. Gonna ice the swift spear. Are they playing? They're playing Gigantha. I guess we might want to subtlety something. So this isn't it doesn't actually look like regular burn. Okay, show off, so yeah. But we can subtlety that, potentially. Land. Yeah. Okay, so just go land. Yeah. And then we'll just go subtlety pitch fire ice. Onto the show off. And then we can hold up this member for future turns, I think is the way. Just don't want to take a huge hit from it here. Yep. Subtlety that one. And then next time we can potentially just dismember it. They put it on top. Okay, Manamorpho, so they do draw it, they can play it this turn, but it does at least mean that we don't they didn't get the trigger on it from Manamorphos. Okay, there it is. So we don't want to see, uh, and we don't really want to see that much. Um, like lightning bolt is pretty bad. We'll mob block the swift spear. So yeah, let's go block, block. Uh, yep. Dart a rhino, which is okay. They could flash it back. I'm going to dismember the show off here. So, knowing that we have to pay for life. I'm only attacking with the Rhino. I want to keep this back for a potential Swift Spear. Say you're not the best draw. 
I've only got four cards in hand. We are at seven, which isn't great. Okay, one to land. They do run Gigantha. Hopefully it's not another show off, that would be really bad. Okay, Seek the Beast is also pretty good. Uh, Soul Scar Mage, Arid Mesa, they've already played a land. It's until the to your next end step, okay. So they could just play okay, they play the Soul Scar. We do, do get to make rhinos this turn though. Okay, four ball. Surprised they played the bauble there. I'd have thought they'd want to hold. Uh, I guess they just want to draw cards. I want to see what we're drawing. Let's see, I will make some rhinos. Then we can attack with everything. Actually, I probably still don't attack with Shardless Agent. Okay, we find a land, unfortunately. Actually, yeah, I will attack with Shardless Agent. Like Lava Dart here is actually fine. Like we'd rather they do it in their turn. I've got one card in hand. They can flash back some lava darts. We really need if they find the slick shot thing, we just lose. Underworld breach. Okay, we can besage you that one. Which is interesting. They haven't got a bolt or anything in there. Okay, so we'll besage you this now. That's really rough though. I forgot they could just cast that from the graveyard. Um, but they now flash back Lava Dart, flash back Lava Dart and we lose, right? Uh, that's not quite lethal actually. That is. Maybe we weren't meant to do that, but they can just go flashback lava dart, flashback lava dart. We're at four. Oh yeah, that is lethal. Okay, well, underworld breach really gets us here. This deck looks quite impressive. Um, I think this time I am going to bring in all of the forces. Dismember is probably more of a liability. Teferi is probably a bit slow. I think cut all the Teferis in favour of some Endurances. And then maybe we only bring in, maybe we only run three Force. We'll try that. Okay, yep, be on the play. And uh, yeah, this casts all our spells. bit slow but mm, probably should have played well playing planes there doesn't really matter I wonder if we're gonna subtlety like a swift spear here probably not okay soul scar mage yeah I'm not gonna subtlety that okay another shardless agent Would subtlety a slick shot thing here though. Okay, Dragon's Rage Channeler. Okay, 
it's going to bolt us. Yeah. Okay, so we take five damage. Go to fifteen. Then we get to make some rhinos. Okay, they put bauble in the graveyard. I would have thought they'd want to draw that one. Maybe they're short on lands. Okay, force is a really nice draw. <laughs> Just get to, uh, yep, make 10 power. And then we get to hold up force and subtlety here. Potentially, I'd probably subtlety one of those slingshot things still. I'd probably force a lava dart. I think I'm gonna force that. Yeah, I think so. Like it stops them having delirium. And I think they're digging for a land. Okay, nope. <laughs> Maybe should have left. A f yeah, maybe shouldn't have bothered with forcing that. I don't know, I just got the impression they were digging for land with the whole putting the bauble in the graveyard thing. Hmm. Double metamorphose. Still no delirium though. Uh, they make green green. Implying they have another one. Okay. So yeah, we're still no delirium. Okay, they attack here. I've only got three cards in hand. I'm gonna block. Yeah, we'll just double block. They can lava dart if they want. Mutagenic growth. Hopefully that's not enough. That's seven. Oh, I think their soul scar mage survives now though. No, not quite. Uh, they can flash back lava dart, but they use a lot of resources. I have to sacrifice a land as well. Another mutagenic growth. Okay. Lucky we blocked. They do put one on top. I guess it could be Underworld Breach. The Underworld Breach on the top is really gross. Um, I think I'm just going to attack. We haven't drawn. Like that was probably the worst draw in our deck. I think we lose to Underworld Breach on top. Like forcing that, um, what's it called? Abundant harvest was probably incorrect. Okay, show off was probably what they put on top. Okay, they bolt us. How many lava darts do they have? Only one. Hopefully they don't hit another one from this Dragon's Rage channeler. Oh, they hit Delirium though. That's pretty good. 
how much damage have they got here? Two, but this can't get through. So they've got six, potentially seven, eight, nine, potentially nine damage. If they flash back the lava dart, which they do. Hopefully they don't hit another one. They don't. No more lava dart. So we're at 11. They're attacking for 8. They have 0 cards in hand. Okay, they concede. So they, they could attack with these two. Block here. Okay. So force was good. Um, especially against you know they're running breach as well so yeah I definitely think we want all the forces maybe we want to trim a fire ice again we could trim footfalls just one I'm actually going to trim the footfalls do we want dismember no I think that's fine right let's see do you kind of miss um, dead gone against this um may want to revisit whether we run those or not if prowess continues to be very popular this hand is awful so you're definitely going to mulligan here uh yeah that sounds really good um i think we'll just bottom one of these fire ices yeah Then we can go try and go fire ice into Shardus Shardus. It may be that we're meant to hold on to the fire ice. To kill something. Yeah, I think I'll just place stomping ground here. Okay, do you draw another land? So yeah just take as little damage as possible opponent did mulligan quite heavily they are on four cards heavy okay just gonna go for killing something here okay force is nice Yeah, I'm just going to go for fire. Um, mutagenic growth is pretty bad. This is this represents the most damage, but this represents a problem with underworld breach. I think I'm just going to go for killing this. If they want to mutagenic growth, it's fine. And this is like a. You always want to do it in your turn because even if they save it with mutagenic growth here it's better than um oh they could just bolt us i guess hmm maybe it was meant to go for that but what i was saying is we want to go for it in our turn so that um yeah they don't get the extra point of damage from prowess yeah probably should have yeah, that was actually really bad. I should have just gone for the Dragon's Rage Channeler. Okay, land for the opponent. Surveil. What have I got here? Bolt. Okay, that's fine. We'll just go fetch an island. Yeah, definitely should have killed the channeler there. But opponent's now got zero cards in hand, and we're going to make ten power and have force and negation up. Okay, we mill over Omnath, which is. <laughs> Not ideal. See, that's 
pretty much all we want to draw now. Opponent wants to draw, I guess, breach. What they got? They bolt us. Hmm. Hope they don't hit. They don't hit delirium. They put a card on top. I think I'm just gonna hold. Because the card on top is probably something like Underworld Breach. Want to draw? Okay, Omnath is good. So what I think we'll do is we'll go attack with everything, play the second Shardless, and then force pitch Omnath if we need to. Yeah, this one should be fine. Uh, we'll just play the land so that we can potentially play Omnath next turn. They did put one on top. Like breach is lethal here, if if we don't force it, but obviously we will. Okay, they bolt us. We'll let them surveil. They need to hit. They don't hit it, so okay. So the opponent was actually going for um, the win by bolting us and trying to hit delirium to make drones rage flying. So fortunately, the error with the fire ice doesn't come to to bite us too badly. But, um, but yeah, good to get the win against prowess. See you for round number four. Okay, gonna keep this hand. We're on the draw. Uh, we can go turn one to spend ice ice potentially got to fairy as well okay so let's go and get a shock land here I think just breeding pool yep spend footfalls pass the turn okay another blue black style list put one on top okay that's fine so I'll probably go and oh that's a good draw um, probably just go and get steam vents here well could get Sacred Foundry. Actually, what I'm going to do is just go. We'll do this right now. Uh, yeah, let's just get Sacred Foundry. So we've got a clean answer to Bowmasters. Oh, no. Oh, why did that? Why did that auto yield through that? That's irritating. I have a. Oh, I don't have a stop on my end step. Okay. Fortunately, we don't get got. Cause that, we definitely could have got. Uh, <laughs> could have got got there by like an undying effect. Ancestral vision. Okay. I wasn't expecting that one, but um, I think we're just jamming Shard this agent here. So since revision, this could be some sort of as foretold deck. Could be, it could be a number of things. Count spell could just be count spell like control playing ancestral vision is just a card you can play. Yeah, it was good to have an answer to Bone Master there. Don't think we're going to jam 
to fairy straight into a counter spell. Opponent misses a land. Okay, well now we'll just play the ardent plea. Because we've got rhinos coming in next turn as well, so we just want to kind of <laughs> overwhelm them with stuff. And we also get Ardent Plea here to um, make our Shard the Sage a little bit bigger. We'll archive. Don't want another land. If we manage to land to Fairy ahead of this Ancestral Vision, that would be really nice as well. see the truth so they're probably playing snapcaster mage okay so what we're going to do is attempt to cast the rhinos if they resolve we'll ice the undercity sewers Okay, so, uh, no, I want to see what we draw first. Another Ardent Plea. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just go Ice here. This way they can't use Counter Spell. Could be Shield Red's Edict. Yep. So let's just sacrifice one of these. How long before? It's very tempting to play the Teferi, but actually, I think if we just go Shardless Agent, we've got Lethal next turn. Again, with them using the removal. We only have one crashing footfalls left. I think I'm just gonna play it. Uh let's go and get island. Yep. See the truth in instant no sorcery. Okay, well, yeah, I think just putting lethal onto the field. Yeah, okay. So we had a lot of good options there. So it's some sort of blue black control with probably with Snapcaster Mage. Um want the dispute. I think we want Force of Negation. We don't against things like Murktide that run Spell Pierce, but I think we do here. Dismember seems pretty bad. Subtlety and things like Solitude. I wonder how they're winning the game. It's probably something like Snapcaster Mage. Let's bring in Teferi. I'm gonna bring in all the Endurances. I think Endurance is better than Solitude here. Uh, Subtlety is an interesting one. That binding. Let's trim one binding, one subtlety. Try that. Okay, so yeah, this is a good hand. Uh, we'll keep this one. Uh, we'll just go shock in breeding pool, suspend some footfalls, and then we can go surveilling and things. Okay, shock this in. Uh, we do need to get red with this actually, so maybe we can't surveil. But we do have double green now. So we can probably just get the 
Grixis Triome. Open up a Ley Line Binding. Um, okay, well, we'll suspend another one, which isn't great into something like EE. -E. I think we're going to go and get the Grixis Triome here. <laughs> okay, oh, we did see Bowmasters actually. Last game. We've kept in, yeah, like a red. We kept in the fire ices, so probably should have fetched sorcery speed there, or well, like before they could play there, and in case we get tied binded. Um, do we just get meticulous archive? No, we'll get Xander's lounge. So we can potentially binding. Okay, dispute is interesting. Um, so do we want to go for? I think I'm just gonna go play beside you, and then we'll go for endurancing them. With force backup if we need it. Okay, another Bowmaster. Okay, we get the sewers. I wonder if we're meant to play Endurance just now. I think so, actually. I just really don't want to get it counterspelled. I just love endurance. Three four flash is uh, not the worst stats anyway. Just stonewalling this stuff, and um. Yeah, the ability is obviously super relevant as well. Okay. Uh, archive. I think I'm just going to play the planes. Not having triple blue is awkward. Although, actually, no, we, we want to play the archive here. graveyard that one so that next turn when our rhinos come down we're able to uh, dispute and force potentially pretty sure the opponent doesn't have another bowmaster uh, yeah that's fine because otherwise they could have attacked and then pinged. Opponent does have six cars in hand. Looks like I might be missing a land though. This endurance doing a lot of work, preserving our life total. Cast some rhinos. Counter spell. So yeah, we can fight over this with um Oh I tapped my planes. Oh well we've got another one in hand, which is good. So they can't dispute back. They 
can drown in the lock. It is, don't have anything. Okay, well, that's nice. Okay, so let's play the planes. Pass the turn. Actually, we could attack with endurance here. If they go. If they go triple block, we're fine with that. Push a rhino. Okay, so we've got a couple of things up. So we could have another counter spell, as in counter spell, counter spell. because uh, they couldn't have used it last turn. Um, I'm just going to use the binding now, I think. Just get rid of one of the Bowmasters. We could get rid of the token. That these are these specific Bowmasters are never making another token because we don't draw it. Uh, no, that's not true. We have Teferi and we have Fire Ice. So yeah, we'll get rid of one of these. We could have something like Brazen Borrower. Okay, they push a Rhino. That's fine. We will fight over this next one as well. Yep. So yeah, we'll just go force. Uh, we want to make sure we have. We don't need. Mm, what do we want to? I think we'll just do this, and then. I'll make sure we have green up, so yeah, let's do that. So we've got green and red up. Okay, when is successful? Well, <laughs> I think it would be rude not to. Um, so we've gone through a lot of crashing foot falls, but I think we could have spell pierce. Okay, last one. It resolves and we get to attack with a 4-5 endurance. Opponent may run something like Damnation. That would make that block make sense. They find a land. They could gain control of a rhino potentially with an Archmage Charm, or they could go snap. Okay, they do have snap. So they probably go snap, Archmage's Charm, gain control of a rhino, but then we just attack with everything anyway. Maybe we don't attack with endurance. draw. Okay, draw four, so that's quite nice. Uh, we could just attack with one Rhino with um, our Ardent Plea, but I think I'm just going to start swinging. The opponent could go block here. Okay, that's fine with us. Opponent goes to six. Opponent keeps their bowmaster around, but I think they may be reading that we have um, 
Lorien revealed, maybe, but we don't. Actually, run Lorien reveal at the moment. Okay, go to our turn. Uh, pushing a rhino. Do we want to fight over this with force? I think so. Uh, island. Do we want to tap here? If we tap this, we can't cast endurance, but everything else we can cast to fairy. If we tap this, we can't play fable. I think I'm just going to go like this. We might just win the game. They could go snap. Okay, they flash in a subtlety. That's fine. <laughs> okay, just draw binding. Um, binding. Get rid of the subtlety. Yep. Okay, so yeah, just attack. So we're three and one. Let's see if we can close out a four one. All right, um, not a great hand here. It's gonna mulligan. And this is better. Uh, so we'll keep this just bottom of solitude. Got some removal. Okay. Don't think there's anything we'd want subtlety here. Oh, is this another more Gigantha? So this is probably another um, prowess. Okay, looks like it might be blue red this time okay swift spear I might just subtlety this in honesty let's just take no damage put it on the bottom okay well we made the right choice double bauble So what are we gonna put? What what are we looking for here? Okay, flooded strand. That's not bad. But let's go archive graveyard. That one. So it's definitely again looks like we're uh, just uh, just blue white control. Nothing nothing unfair going on here. Depends what they see on top with the second bauble, I guess. Five cards in hand. Okay, Dragon's Rage Channeler. I probably will just dismember that. Okay, I see Fable. So let's just go land tapped dismember. Which one do we think is gonna be Oh they haven't got many cards in hand. I think I'm just gonna eat the the uh Dragon's Race channeler here. And then this turn I wanna go fetch island play fable it's just island yeah I think so they go to top which is a little bit troubling Take four here down to twelve. Okay, forest is actually pretty good. Uh, saves us taking damage. Okay, 
I'll probably block here. One card in hand, you get a seven. Okay, well, that's a good draw. Yeah, we'll get rid of just the fable. Okay, play a land. We'll go and get another draw on that. We want to go and get basic planes here. Ardently. Yep, cast the footfalls and hope the opponent doesn't double bolt us. Are they running a thundering falls? No thundering falls. Oh, that's one of the best things they could have had. What did they exile? Okay. Dragon's Rays Channel a Preordain. Is it? You can play both of them. Yeah, that's pretty good. So yeah, we're going to have to draw pretty, pretty well. Uh, we can find a land put one on top if it's bolt we're not quite dead to bolt they must be running a green source somewhere two top that's not what we want to see another soul scar mage they can't attack this turn though if we find a land to fairies not bad I guess we could solitude. So we go. Hmm. So we could go to fairy bounce the dragon's raised channeler, so it can't attack. Is pretty good. I think I'd rather do that than we could go to fairy bounce ardent please solitude that. I think that's probably better. Let's go return this. Okay, we do find another one, so that is good. <coughs> As in another white card. We can also, or oh, iterations, a very strong draw from the opponent. We can also um, potentially start copying Rhino tokens next time. Surprised they didn't go channeler into that. The other thing we can do. Ooh, okay, so if possible, we want to not um, lose our reflection here. Because if we can go evoke solitude, copy it, attack, that's really, really strong. We just need to survive this turn, really. opponent has seen a lot of cards here. Okay, they play another Swift Spear, which they play. Hopefully they just play the Dragon's Rage Channeler. Unholy Heat on. So we'll let all these things resolve. They're heating a Rhino. Right, so if we let that resolve and then go Uh, resolve block here we lose so I think what we have to do is go solitude but what we can we could solitude our own rhino to gain four but I think I'd rather yeah I think that's fine okay because now we can eat one of these so we go 
block here so we could not block so if we go don't block solitude this is that just better but then we're going to I think that's better uh, so we don't block here and then we s or we block here if we block here solitude this we'd go to four but then we lose this but then the opponent's only got I think I block I think I do this Maybe I'm not meant to solitude. Wait, but then we can't find a land, so. We could just play another ardent plea. Let me do this. We go to one. Yeah, I think that's fine. Do you think? Go to one play another ardent plea and then they can't get through but then we're dead to bolt I think we have to do that we'll go to one we could also find a basic land well that's an island <laughs> Um, we'll plus that's probably our best draw okay we can now just pass the turn hope they don't find lightning bolt Okay, they play the Dragon's Rage Channeler. We really want them to go to combat. Oh, Lava Dart is so bad. So now we have to solitude our own Rhino. And that probably win that's probably just enough damage. Let them surveil first. That's probably their best draw. Oh, another Lava Dart in the bin. That's really gross. Although the Ardent Plea line wouldn't have worked there. I actually don't think anything would have saved us from that. We get a five, we get a four, but then uh, they also surveilled another Lava Dart into the graveyard. So now just go Lava dart this, lava dart this, attack with everything. Yeah. Oh, that's really gross. I think we were actually, like we were dead to, you know, they had, they had some very good draws, preordained, expressive iteration, but if they find land, I think we just win. Okay, so we're gonna bring in all the forces We'll bring in all the endurances. Dismember gets cut. Fable is, I think, too slow. As is to fairy. Just go. Uh, do we want dispute? Expressive iteration is a good one to counter. But what's it better than? Yeah, I think we'll just go with that. Okay, play first. Yeah, we possibly could have beaten one lava dart there. But like lava dart surveil another lava dart into the graveyard not much chance uh, we'll keep this one pretty good hand just surveil on one um i kind of want more land in honest all honesty like build up to this omnath and this solitude just, just kind of buying time see what they play um, yeah, we're just going to shock in and kill that. Okay. 
Okay, kill that. This turn, we have to fetch an island. Hmm, how afraid are we of spell pierce here? I think we're still going for it. Like, shall the sage blocks here? Uh, get island. Cast this. <laughs> yeah. Looks like spell pierce could be fluster storm as well. Yep. Okay, so the question is next turn, do we just play Omnath? I'm definitely blocking here. Okay, iteration's pretty good. So yeah, we've seen we've played against two Gruel and now one. I mean, they are running this for questing druid. Okay, another swift spear and a bauble. Okay, so if they attack, yeah, we'll just we'll just jump. Yeah, just take less damage here. I'm just gonna play the Omnath unless we draw something better. Yeah, let's just go on that. Like if they've got unholy heat, they can unholy heat it anyway. I don't think I'm blocking. Maybe we are with this solitude in hand. Like they want to bolt an Omnath. Red Mesa. Oh yuck, they do have Unholy Heat. That's pretty grim. It's taking six plus whatever else they want to throw at us. They might just be holding up Spell Pierce. It's not lava dart. It is lava dart. Okay, we get a two. Uh, there's no lava darts in the graveyard, but they've got three cards in hand. So I think we just have to pass. This deck looks really impressive now. Like we haven't seen this uh, slick shot thing. We could ice and play endurance. Okay. Hope they don't hit anything really good here. Um, they leave one on top, which is scary. Ah, oh, is that a lightning bolt? I don't think there's anything we can do to remove that. Oh, I tapped that wrong as well. I need to do this one. Okay. Yeah, there was no way out of that. They just bolt us. Um, yeah, unfortunate. But I think, yeah, if that deck's going to be so popular, I might want to make a few changes. Definitely go up to another Omnath. Uh, maybe Crimson Fables. But 
Yeah. We played against Prowess three times. Um, seems to be very popular at the moment, so we'll see how that, the meta shakes out. I think it's people trying the new the new cards somewhat. So, But I think the deck looks really impressive. But um, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. I think the deck felt pretty good. We beat it. We beat uh, Prowess once. So we actually beat everything else that we played against. Um, although we have two blue blacks, so maybe not one that we'd expect as much. But um, going to keep working on the list. Do let me know if you've got any suggestions or if there's anything you thought could have been done differently in the games, as usual. Um, but yeah, see you again soon. Cheers.